focus. Okay, uh, a very good morning to all of you. Uh, my name is Nirmala Krishnamurthy, and on behalf of the outreach team at ISAC Tirupati, I welcome all of you to our Science Day celebrations. These events are also part of the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav celebrations at ISAC Tirupati. As you all know, the National Science Day honors Sir C. V. Raman's outstanding contributions to research and discovery. This provides hope, <coughs> excuse me, and inspiration to future generations to pursue their own goals. The day is usually marked by raising awareness about the importance of science in people's daily lives and to recognize all the activities and achievements that help humanity. Every year, we have a theme for National Science Day. And for this year, it is integrated approaches in science and technology for a sustainable future. All right, uh, with all of that being said, let's move on to the events planned for this occasion. Uh, just give me a second, let me um, share my screen. I guess all good things come in threes. And so we have a trilogy of events too. So yesterday, most of you must have uh, noticed and participated in our science and communication uh, events that we had on Sunday, full noon session. Today, we actually have two sessions, the full noon and the afternoon session. So we'll go ahead and get started with the full noon session. We start the day by having a science day address to students by Professor Santi, Chair of Biology. And after that, we actually have two events that are going to go in tandem. Uh, Jeopardy, uh, conducted by our quiz club, Shemushi, and Escape Room, conducted by Synergy, which is our chemistry club. So one of them is an open event, which means we can all participate and watch. The other, Escape Room by Synergy, is actually a closed event. Uh, for those of you not familiar with the idea of the Escape Room, it's actually a game. Uh, so what happens is the participants go through several rooms, and the target is to finish walking through virtually all these rooms. But to walk through these rooms, you have to solve a puzzle. Make sure you get the right answer, and that's your key to get into the next room, of course, virtually. Now, this game is played all over the world. But what we are doing today is actually having science, and in general, and chemistry in particular, uh, questions that they have to solve to move on to the next room. That means the kids have to go into different uh, breakout rooms, and it's kind of a challenge to live stream it. So as you can understand, that will be a closed event. So good luck to our Synergy Club as they conduct this event. Just so that you know, nearly 42 teams from all over the country uh, came in for the trial run, and they have selected eight teams that will go and actually play the escape room game. So, and the winners of that particular competition will be announced later in the afternoon. The other event we have for today, which will go live, is Jeopardy by Shemoshi Club. For those at Aisa Tirupati, you all absolutely know about Shemoshi and the amazing work that they do every year conducting um, uh, awesome quizzes. But this time, uh, they've already conducted the prelims, and I think around 45 teams participated from all over the country. They've selected eight teams, which will go head to head, and then we'll move on to the final round with four teams in a Jeopardy style. If you've never seen Jeopardy, this is a great opportunity to enjoy this. So, um, yeah. Just so that you know, okay? So that's the plan. We do have another session in the afternoon starting at 2 p.m. Uh, that's a big event for the day. Please understand that it's a hybrid mode. So we do conduct it online as well as in CV Raman Hall. Those of you on the campus, please come and attend from CV Raman. It's a first come, first serve basis. Just so that you know, I'll put a quick uh, view of the events for the afternoon also, just so that you know. Okay, so with that being said, let's move on to the session uh, this particular session. So I welcome Professor Sonti, Chair Biology and Dean of Faculty to give the welcome address on National Science Day. Professor Sonti, you can go. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Nilmara. 
and uh, good morning everybody for this exciting day of the national science day and a uh, whole range of activities arranged for uh, for today i thought i'll just give you a very brief uh, uh, overview of uh, what the national science day is all about and what the theme of today's national science day is all about in just very very brief uh, 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 in a few minutes before you get on to the main activity of the day can you see my slides hello yes yes sorry okay so so the theme of today's science day as uh, dr nimala has just said it's about an integrated approach in science and technology for a sustainable future and i will just spend a few minutes talking about uh, what the implications are uh, about for science and technology in terms of sustainability why sustainability is important but before i get there i just wanted to very briefly indicate what the significance of uh, february 28th is uh, uh, basically this is the day on which uh, uh, professor c v raman discovered the raman effect he and his student working at the indian association for the cultivation of science in kolkata uh, uh, discovered the raman effect on this day and uh, this is why we actually celebrate today and i just got here a sketch of process uh, cv raman by dr homi baba another giant of uh, indian uh, indian science now the beauty of process cv raman's uh, achievements is that he worked entirely in india his education was in india and uh, all his research was in india before he spent a few months in uh, 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 california institute of technology pasadena but uh, most uh, the work that actually led to the nobel prize was done in india in a very simple laboratory so what is actually important uh, uh, the take home message professor from uh, professor cv raman's work is that what is important is ideas it's not necessarily the equipment that you need if you have ideas you can actually do uh, uh, you know it is the quality of the idea that uh, that matters so while we try i know uh, today's science is actually technology intensive and we do need instrumentation so that we can probe deeper and deeper into uh, into the scientific realm but we should not at the same time forget that the ideas actually matter and the quality of the science is determined by the quality of the idea that that you have with that as the background i thought that today's uh, uh, topic for the national science day is actually very very important because we uh, our planet and mankind as a whole you know we are at a crossroads we have followed a, a model of economic development that is not sustainable and unless we change course our future on this planet and the future of every other creature that shares this planet earth as home is also impaired and to actually meet these sustainability goals science and technology have a very very important role and you as uh, the young people who are entering into, uh, into into science you have a very important role down the line now what is sustainability sustainability means the ability to draw resources from our planet in such a manner that it does not affect the ability of future generations to live on and grow resources from our planet so it's a very very simple definition of uh, uh, sustainability that you live here knowing that what you do knowing fully and committing yourself to a mode of economic development that indicates that your living here does not affect the ability of future generations to live on this planet now there are a number of challenges in sustainability issues i just thought i'd flag about three of them that require a lot of attention and hopefully some of you would be involved in solving these problems and one is about renewable energy you know a lot of the problem with fossil a lot of global warming is due to fossil fuels and when we burn fossil fuels we release carbon dioxide and uh, other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere 
So there's a lot of interest in renewable energy and one of the largest sources of biomass on the planet is agricultural waste. Now, we don't really have appropriate ways, cost-effective, efficient ways of converting agri-waste into uh, you know, uh, uh, bioenergy, essentially to draw energy from agricultural waste. And often uh, in, uh, in parts of our country, we actually end up taking care of this waste by, by burning, which creates another problem in terms of uh, pollution. So renewable energy is a major area. Now, agriculture, the green revolution has been fantastic in terms of allowing our country to be self-sufficient in terms of food, but it has come at a cost. It has, the, the green revolution is based on a lot of inputs in terms of water, fertilizer, and less pesticide, and more, and a lot of pesticides. So the use of water in agriculture, the use of fertilizers in agriculture, and the use of pesticides in agriculture has come at a lot of cost to the environment. So to have a bread basket, we need to now develop future agriculture that uses less water, less fertilizer, and less pesticides. So we need a greener form of agriculture. And again, this requires, it's not one problem, it's multiple problems. Using less water in agriculture is one problem. Using less fertilizer in agriculture is one problem. Using less pesticides in agriculture, less or no pesticides in agriculture is another problem. So all of these require, again, inputs of science and uh, technology. Now, new materials is a major area of work that we need to focus on. Plastics have been cheap as packaging material, very convenient, but they are not biodegradable. And this is just an example of uh, uh, you know, uh, an India just on the outskirts of Bangalore, and you can actually see the kind of uh, uh, dirt that we are actually, the kind of residues that we are leaving in the planet, these won't get degraded anytime soon. And uh, future, they will be around, we will, I will not be here. Some of you will also not be here when these are actually degraded. So we need to have newer materials that are biodegradable, cost-effective ways of replacing conventional plastics. Now, these are just a few examples of sustainability issues that we are faced with. And we need an integrated approach of science and technology. So scientific breakthroughs are needed. And then technological packages have to be developed based on these uh, uh, scientific solutions. And the science that is required is not going to be just one discipline. It won't be chemistry. It won't be physics alone. It won't be biology alone. It will be all of them combined with engineering, that is essentially what the theme of today's uh, Science Day is that we need integrated approach of science and technology to solve these sustainability issues, which really are the, uh, the major issue facing mankind today. And I trust that some of you will be working on these problems in your careers. And I wish you all the very best in your endeavors. And uh, thank you very much with this very brief uh, 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 presentation in terms of what the theme, the importance of the theme of today's National Science Day is. I would like to end here and thank you very much to the organizers for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts with you and to all of you in the audience uh, for listening to me and uh, have a great day and have a great National Science Day. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Professor Santi. Uh, it was a very nice insight into both uh, Professor Raman's work as well as the theme for this year's Science Day. I think our students will take on that and hopefully uh, make a difference to our planet. Thank you. So thank with you. that, yeah, thanks. So with that being said, let's move on to the main event for this session. That is the Quiz Jeopardy by our Shemoshi Club. So I asked the host for that event, Nitya, Tejas, Asma, to take over, just remember that you have to let us know who you want to give access to so they can participate uh, in the quiz. Is that okay? Tejas or um, Nitya? Yes, ma'am. Um, okay. You guys ready to go? Yes, ma'am. Okay.
Hello everyone. Firstly, I wish you all a very happy National Science Day. On behalf of Shemushi, I extend a very warm welcome to you all for the finals of our National Science Day quiz. Our finalists are Team Nameless Monsters from JNCSR, Team Halva Merchants from IIC Bangalore, Team Shakalaka Boogie Poogie from ISA Tirupati, Team Science Rookies from ISA Mohali, Team Delta and Omicron from ISA Tirupati, Team Pavangale Kalyaka Leda from ISA Trivandrum, Team San and Soil from ISA Bahampur, and Team Curious Cronies from ISA Trivandrum. I hope the participants have renamed themselves in the format, team name followed by their name. Uh, okay, so good morning, everyone. I hope every team has uh, is present there. So I'll just read out the names once again. You just uh, unmute and tell you if you are present. Team. Uh, Aditya, team, hang huh? Aditya, yeah. just hang in for a second. Just hang in for a second. We'll make yeah, sure, sure. All, uh, everybody has the ability. So just check with huh. them before you get started. And if okay. you are uh, moving some of the teams to a separate thing, please let us know how this is going so that the audience can also understand how this rolls. Thank you. Yeah, ma'am. Once uh, once you have taken the attendance, I'll explain how to, what are we changing. And Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Aditya, I guess you are on mute. Oh, oh sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Uh, so, so I'll just call out the names again once more. Uh, Halva Merchants, Team Halva Merchants. Uh, we are here, but one of our, our team members is having problems changing his name. Uh, okay. To the right uh, name. Please give us a moment. Okay, yes. okay. Huh. Sure. Uh, team science rookies. Yeah, we are yeah, here. We are, yeah, yeah. we are here, but one of our teammates is a bit off. We will be joining soon. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Team Pawangale Kalyakalada. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Team Delta and Omicron. Yeah, Delta and Omicron. Yeah. Team Shaklaka Boogie Boogie. Uh, yeah, we are yeah, here. Yeah. All teams are yeah. Team Sand and Soil. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think one of our members is not here. Uh, so, will he be joining or like? Yeah. Okay. Team Nameless Monsters. Nameless Monsters. Okay. Team Curious Cronies. Uh, yeah, we are here. Okay. So Nameless Monsters is yet to come. Uh, all the team members from our team have Okay. Huh. So I one more team is yet to come. So should we wait for them or like? Uh, they know the rules, right? I mean, are they in the main room? Or are they going to be on a different line? Uh, it depends, ma'am. We have to do a lot picking, and also it depends on which room they are. So we need everyone to be in the main room in the beginning. Uh, is at least one member from the team over here? Uh, yeah. in the 
uh, then then it's fine i guess we can proceed so meanwhile everything is done then uh, the whole team can join it i guess uh, that's fine the with the team team right? nameless monsters is at least one member here okay it seems that not even one member is not here I'll try contacting them. Okay, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, how long is the quiz going to be? Roughly two hours, almost. Because we had been told it's one and a half hours initially. Yeah, it's like two hours is the max, the max limit. Okay. Uh, I guess Aditya, you can start picking slots. Uh, meanwhile, I think if Nameless joins, then we can see. I don't have access to share the screens. I think it's your kind of or like I need to for lot picking. I I don't okay, sure, have the co-host access. Okay. Ah, uh, Nitya is doing it. Uh, Nitya, could you change it to set one, set two, set three, set three? Uh, not the team names. Set one, set two, set three, set four, set five, set six, set set seven, and set eight. Okay, so we we can start, right? I I think there is that. Sure, sure. I guess we can start. Okay, so, uh, for the first event, the the pre jeopardy, for the pre jeopardy event, we will be doing a lot picking before conducting the actual event. So the the lot picking can go based on the uh, based on the scores each team has obtained. So the first place is actually for we will not reveal the marks. We'll just tell which team has the first place, second place, and all. So the first place is for Halva Merchants uh, in the prelims. And Nitya, could you just do? Could you just spin the? Round? Uh, so halwa merchants you will be doing set 1 for the pre jeopardy uh, halwa merchants clear right hello yeah okay so you can and you can remove that set 1 now uh, remove yeah okay now the second place is for science rookies you can turn the Okay, set eight means you will be doing set four. So science rookies, you will be doing set four. Just remember the set, Soka. Which set will be doing? Set four, four. Eight means four. There are just four sets. You will be doing the fourth set, set four. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget, Soka, okay? because we have to do it in different rooms. So you should uh, join the corresponding room. Okay, so you can remove that. Then uh, you can. Third team is Pawangalai Kaliyakaleda, and yeah, you can rotate. <laughs> yeah, so Pawangalai Kaliyakaleda, you will be doing also set four. uh it's pangalakaliyakaleda you got it right hello 
Uh, we are with which team? Uh, you will be competing with team uh, science rookies. They okay. are also in, okay. So uh, science rookies and Pangala Kalakalada will be uh, for set four. Okay, you can remove that. Uh, now the next team is Delta and Omicron. Okay, set six is set two. So Delta and Omicron, you will be doing set two. Delta and Omicron. Yes. 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 Okay, so uh, just just a minute. I'll just let me just note down the. Yeah, so the next team is Shaklaka Boogie Boogie, and yeah, you can turn it. Yeah, so Shakalaka Boogie Boogie will be doing set three. Yeah, okay. Okay, so yeah. So next team is sand and soil. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sand and soil will also be doing set three. Sand and soil, could you just respond? Hello? Yeah, okay. Hello? Okay. Set three, sand and soil, set three. Uh, this nameless monster here yet. You can remove that. Uh, it's nameless monster here. Any member? Uh, okay. So, okay, so since they are not there for curious cronies, just I uh, wrote Nithya can rotate. Uh, yeah, so curious cronies will be doing set two. Okay. So Aditya, now, can you once confirm uh, like all teams and uh, what yeah, yeah, I'll tell that. Yeah, I'll tell that. Uh, so what about that one more team? Uh, nameless monster. What to do? One team would be now odd. I guess if uh, they are not joining, then uh, the team which is only in the room, uh, we can ask them to join some other set. Like we can again rotate a wheel and check uh, which set they will be joining. So now we can have three teams in a room. Three teams side. Uh, like uh, Asma, I think Asma was calling. So Asma, could you respond? They aren't picking up the call. Nobody picked up. Oh, no. I've mailed them no response. Okay. Um, okay, so anyway, now I'll tell who were the teams who are competing against each other. Um, Halwa Merchants is set one, and they are alone right now. So, because Team 5 has not come, so Halwa Merchant is now competing and is alone. Uh, and Team two, Delta and Omicron and Curious Cronies, they are competing against each other. I I'll repeat Delta and Omicron and Curious Cronies, you will be competing for set two. Both teams are clear, right? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, then Shakalaka Boogie Boogie and Sand and Soil would be competing for set three. I'll repeat Shakalaka Boogie Boogie and Sand and Soil will be competing for set three. Okay, yeah. Okay. And finally, science rookies and Pangala Kalia Kalada would be competing for set four. Hello? Okay.
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what should we do about the set one? Like, should we again spin the roller and see which group they go? Oh, uh, I guess uh, Nitya can take a call here. She is a quiz master. Yeah. What? For Jeopardy. Yeah. Excuse me. Huh. Name quiz monsters. Uh, one of the participants had uh, responded. Huh. Uh, he'll join within two minutes. Okay. Then we'll wait for them. Then we'll start. So uh, they, meanwhile, Aditya, can you give an overview of uh, how exactly like it's gonna be? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. So I hope the rooms are all uh, clear for you. So you will be competing against each other, and this is the pre-jeopardy round. And only one of the team uh, among the two competing teams, only one of the team would be uh, allowed to play for the jeopardy. That is, one team would be eliminated. And the set four would be conducted in this Zoom meet itself, but set one, set two, and set three will be conducted in, uh, in different G meet links. Uh, I hope all the hosts are here. Uh, Nanda, Nanda Krish, is Nanda, Manasa, and Harini. Yeah, I'm here. Yep, I'm here. Yeah. Okay, so uh, do you have the G meet links ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, just put the Gmail links and the set that you are handling. So each so except set four, all other teams can go to the the corresponding Gmail links. So yeah, you can put down the links and the base the the question the each set will have a uh, five questions, four questions uh, that is each question from each subject and one tiebreaker question. Uh, and the time we the time allotted will be one minute, but based on the difficulty, you may get extra time for math or physics. And further details will be conveyed to you by each host in each uh, room. So I hope it's clear the basic outlay. Only one team will be qualified from uh, this. Excuse me, yeah. what do you huh. mean by pre jeopardy round and what is even jeopardy? Okay, Jeopardy, but we'll explain by that time. For pre-Jeopardy, this is basically a buzzer round. So once you are in the Gmail link, you will understand what to do because like it's all set up there in each Gmail uh, link. Adit, I guess you are hosting uh, on Zoom, so you can start explaining over here so everyone yeah. gets a hang of it. Yeah, okay. So uh, my chat is visible, right? Uh, this one. It's visible, right? Uh, yeah, the, yeah. Okay. Nothing is visible. Did one uh, full stop come in the chat? Yep, yep. Yeah, it's huh. Okay, so <laughs> basically, this is the, each set will consist of five questions, four questions from each subject, and one question from any subject that will depend on the set you have chosen. So yeah, that's it. And the team with lesser points than other team will be eliminated. And you will be given a 45 seconds to one minute, depending on the difficulty of the questions. Uh, set to uh, Harini, could you send us a hyperlink? Uh, yeah, just give me a second. Huh, okay. Huh. So 45 seconds to one minute, depending on difficulty of the question. You can, uh, while I am reading the question, you can start for the and how to start before answering one of the team members should just put a full stop like this the first team to put a full stop like this would be the would be given the chance to answer if the answer the whole question there are no partial markings if the answer the if they answered completely correctly then they'll get 10 marks if they answer it wrong then they'll get five, minus 5 mark so is the marking clear is me hmm. hello yeah yeah. Could you please repeat the modalities of answering the question? Okay. Huh. So once I read a question, you will be given uh, the limit to answer a question is 45 seconds to one minute. But even while I'm reading, you can start answering. But before you can answer, you should put a full stop like that again. In the, the uh, chat. chat. Yeah, in the chat. Yeah. Like this. Once you have put it, you will have the permission to answer the question. And you should, there are no partial markings, so you can't answer a question half. You should answer it correctly, completely. And if you have, if you answer it correctly, and if the quiz master thinks that you should be awarded, then you'll get 10 marks for each question. If you answer it wrong, or if you just answer half, you'll get minus five points. 
Okay, so the second team that the team that, that was late to put the full stop will not get any mark in that question, even if they know the answer. Uh, is it clear now? Is the what is the negative marking for the question? Minus five. Minus five plus ten for correct. Yeah, plus ten for correct and minus five for wrong. Okay. Sir. Yeah, it's clear for everybody, right? Hello. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, uh, okay. Ha. Huh. So then we'll. Okay, you can. Okay, I'll just. Is nameless monster here yet? Hello. Nameless monster. Let uh, the members. Uh, I see the member over here, but uh, I don't know. Uh, is there some member? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I see one of the members. Who is it? Uh, Cyanthan. Okay, Cyanthan. Ha, Cyanthan. Ha, yeah. Uh, so, Cyanthan, nameless monster. So, could you just respond? Hello? Sign the nameless ones. Hello. Hello. Yeah. So, what about your other team members? Uh, they are uh, not with me right now. I didn't receive any mail. I guess. You didn't receive any mail? Oh, wait. I, I think, think... I, it. I didn't know that. I mean. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a negative mark for like wrong answers? Yes, you'll get minus five for negative answering. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, will they be joining or like only you are I there think for the team nameless monsters are joined? Oh, but is only one member joined? Yes, the other two couldn't join. Can you please direct him to um, Yeah, to so number? wait, let me yeah. see. Um, okay, ah. nameless monster will be in set, will be doing set one and competing against hal halwa merchants. Aditya and Tejas, can you tell me how, how long this first round is going to take approximately? Uh, a max of 20 minutes, ma'am. Okay. It's just so, five questions and one minute per question. So okay. once the rules are clear, we'll, it will be just like five to ten minutes. Okay, so then we all uh, the winners will all come to the main room, right? Yes, ma'am. The uh, the uh, qualified teams will come back to the same Zoom link where they will do the Jeopardy. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead. We don't want to, once the uh, nameless monsters are there, let's just go ahead and get started, please. Thanks. Yes. Uh, so nameless monsters, so you, are clear, you will be in set one. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I think uh, you got the link, right, Nameless Monster? That, yeah, I got, but yeah. Oh. No, no, the Gmail link. Gmail link? Uh, yeah, you can see the ch chat. Tejas is putting the set one, okay. so you could join that meet now. Okay, okay. So I guess team one, team two, team three can now move on to their respective Gmail links. And all the best to the teams. Can we leave this meeting? Yeah, case. you can leave this meeting now for the pre jeopardy round to the uh, the corresponding set that I have told. Should I repeat the sets again? Yeah, it would be better. Aditya. Okay. So set one, that the Gmeet link for set one, it will contain Halwa merchants and nameless monsters. Set two will contain Curious Cronies and Delta and, uh, Delta and Omicron. Set 3 will contain Shakalaka, Boogie Boogie and Sand and Soil and Team 4 who will remain in the Zoom Meet, the Zoom Meet itself will be Science Rookies and Pavangala Kalayaka Leda. Yeah. So again the rules will be explained by the host in each room so it's, don't worry if you don't get it, if, if you didn't get anything now. Yeah, so I guess each one can move to their respective rooms.
from nameless monster there is only one other shall not be at all uh so if they are coming just give them this gmail link and ask them to join set 1 So except I Parmalaka. texted them, but uh, I think they're busy. I don't know whether they will join. They can join any moment or two. Okay, then uh, you can then anyway you can join the other meet itself. You can start I guess. Yeah, yeah, you can join the set one link, G meet link. Except science rookies and Parmalaka clear clear. Everyone can move to their respective. Jimmy thinks. Hello. Yeah. Uh, are we supposed to answer only after putting full stop? Are we supposed to answer only after forty-five seconds? Forty-five seconds and one minute is the total time to answer. You can even while I'm reading question, you can just put the full stop. You should first put the full stop, then only you will have the answer the permission to answer it. Okay. Is it clear? Hello. The nameless monsters are still here, um, Aditya. You might want to check. Oh. Uh, yeah. Nameless monster, please go to uh, G Meet Link One. Hello, nameless monsters. Yeah, he's in the link. Um, okay, so it's just asking to leave this meet. Uh, so like, yeah. we can he can join after the this is done. So and uh, is there any anybody has science rupees this year? Uh, science rupees found like here. Um, uh, Delta and Omicron. You can also go to you can go to say room two. Room two. Can anyone confirm? Hello. Okay, I think all have left. So I think we can start, right? Yes. Yeah, I guess we can start at it. Yeah. Okay. So I hope the rules are clear with both Pangala Kalya 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 and Science Rookie. So is there any doubt, or else we'll start within the the next minute? Okay, it seems like they don't have any doubt. So we'll move we'll move on to the first question. Yeah, to the first question. Nitya, first question. Okay, the first question is a physics question. A power cable is strung between two utility poles. Of course, it sags in the shape of a curve called a catenary. At each end, where it is attached to a pole, the cable makes an angle of 10 degree to the horizontal. The weight of this cable, of section of cable, is W. What's the tension in the cable at its lowest point? What is its tension at each of the poles? And you will have one minute total, and you can start clicking the bus, uh, push bus if you know the answer. Okay, Pawangala Kalya Kalya has clicked on it. Now you can answer answer it. Pawangala Kalya Kalya, please uh, answer. Hello. Huh, yeah. Uh, at this low, a uh, lowest point is the tension. Uh, two W cos ten. Okay. Uh, just complete the answer then. I'll tell. I need a uh, complete answer. Half there are no partial markings. Okay. Uh, complete answer means should I like put the numerical value and then say? No. 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 By the complete lowest... answer, he means uh, at the lowest point as well as uh, there is a second yeah. question, right? Yeah, if you don't answer it within ten to fifteen seconds, you will get a minus five points. Now, it was already uh, announced at the beginning. So lowest point you told. Now I need the answer for this within fifteen seconds. Uh, at each of it falls. Hmm. W by two. W by two. Uh, could you just complete the answer? Uh, at the poles. 
could you just uh, tell uh, complete uh, could you just repeat your answers once more both answers hello uh yeah at this lowest point uh we think it is uh two uh, w cos 10 huh and uh at each of its pole we think it is uh w by two is it just is just w by two hello Uh, uh, w by 2t cos 10. Okay. Sign 10, sign 10, sign 10. Sorry, sign 10. Sign 10. Okay, so uh, Nithya, could you just check the answer? So I don't, yeah. It You just told half the correct answer, but tension at each pole is W by 2 cos 10. So you will be receiving minus five points because you told uh, half of the answer wrong. So now, uh, so who is who is checking the marks in team in this set? Yeah, yeah I'm there. I'm there. Okay, so for Pangala, it's minus five points. Yeah, somebody is raising the hand. Yeah, Aditya, this is Lakshmi Lakshmi Lavanya, yeah. Yeah, sorry for interrupting. Huh? All suggestion. See, when they press the buzzer, huh? no, after that, you give them that 45 seconds or one minute, whatever time. Okay. Don't ask for the answer immediately. Let them take the time there itself. And the answer which they tell first is the final answer. Okay. After that, there is no bargaining or anything. They tell the answer okay. and you just listen to the answer and take it. If there are two answers, okay, first answer, this one. What is the second answer? This one. And after that, you declare sure, sure. the result. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Uh, you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ma'am, actually, for the buzzer round, uh, usually we give 60 seconds uh, so that they can think and uh, uh -huh. take their call whether to answer or not. Yeah. So yeah. that's why uh, after putting, like, turning or uh, raising a buzzer, we expect, uh, like, immediate yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah ma'am. Or... See, as yeah. a participant, no, it's like when I'm confident that I can solve it, then I can click the buzzer. Right. And then I get sign, uh, that 45, 45 seconds or one minute time is there to think, right? So we, before that, please do not ask them the answer. Okay, even if they press the buzzer immediately, you keep the time like end of question to 45 seconds. Would that be fine? Oh, yeah, but excuse that... me. Uh, excuse me, please. Lakshmi Lavanya, the problem is whatever rules apply here have to apply to the other three rooms. So if we switch uh -huh. anything now... No, no, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not asking them to switch. When you say that 45 seconds is there, and if we are asking them before that, no, then they may not have the answer. And oh, also, uh, ma'am, that's why initially we are giving them sixty seconds. Yeah, ma'am. They, they, they can, uh, you know, let yeah. them do those three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Thanks. Yeah, please, please proceed and make sure all four rooms are exactly the same. We don't want any confusion of one room being different. Yeah. Okay, please, thanks. Uh, proceed, please. Proceed. Thank okay. you. Answer is the okay. first answer. Okay, don't ask them for the next. Like, what else they want to say? Okay, okay, yeah, sure, sure. Huh. I'll just accept the first answer. Okay, now to the second question. What is the, imp this is a chemistry question. What is the importance of the complex shown below in the context of airport security and it has got something to do with the game total overdose? You'll have 45 seconds and you can start. Uh, since if you click the buzzer, you have to answer because that's the rule we are told for every other room. So we can't change. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So time starts now. 45 seconds. Okay. Science rookies has. Okay, you you know the answer you can tell, but if you tell the answer, the first answer will be taken. Uh, can I answer? Yeah, yeah, you can answer. Okay, so this compound is used to test for the presence of heroin. Okay, so in the presence of heroin, it turns green. Okay, so okay, so what? Okay, so uh, uh, Nitya, could you go to the answer? 
So the answer is complex formed by cobalt, cobalt thiocyanate when it's made to react with cocaine, widely used as to test for trace of cocaine. So we can give mark for this, right? So we get a minus five. Uh, Tejas, what do you say? I said heroin, but actually this test goes for both heroin and cocaine as far as I know. No, no, no that... cocaine and heroin is very yeah, different. Yeah. But I think this uh, test is for both. I think this test is for both. Uh, is the question uh, the person but who made it? Uh, uh, your answer says cocaine, so I think we should stick with the cocaine. Yeah, but it, it does give a positive take. Oh, okay. Almost so, yeah. No, no. The, the quiz master is here. He, the person who made it here, so it's saying it's a structure of cocaine. So you will get a minus five point. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the third question. Third question is a mathematics question. You will get one minute to solve this. You can answer it at any time. Crack the code. 341, one number correct and zero in the right position. 248, one number correct and one in the right position. 725, two number correct and zero in the right position. 572, two number correct and one in the right position. And 793, two number correct and one in the right position. What is the correct code? It's a three digit, three digit code. And your time starts now. You'll get one minute. Twenty seconds remaining. One minute is done. I'll give an extra fifteen seconds. Just fifteen seconds more. Okay. Uh, Ahir Ghosh, which team are you? Could you just tell which team? Okay, uh, Ahir Kosh, which team? Ahir Kosh has clicked first. So, which team are you? I'm science rookies. Okay, so you can you have done it first. You can so you can tell the answer. Uh, two seventy three. Two seventy three. Let Nitya show the answer. Yes, two seventy three is the correct answer. So, for science rookies, plus ten points. They just your mark, right? For science rookies plus. Yes, ten. yes, yes. Okay, now let's go to the fourth question. Fourth question is a bio question. This invertebrate, named after the island it is found in, is known for its unique diet, seabirds. It has a predator prey relationship with black winged petrels. Name this creature. Okay, Pangale Kalekalada has already. This is for the next this question, right? Okay, so you can just answer it now. Please answer. Hello. Diona, please. Uh, we need an answer from Pangalakalakalada within the next 10 to 15 seconds. Is she audible? I, is, is it just my bro? I can't hear any, anyone answering. Hello. Uh, neither we could. Okay, so please answer it. You have clicked the button. Now I have to answer it. Squid. Squid. What? What? Shut. Sorry. Squid. Squid. Okay, I can't understand what you are saying. Squid. Squid. Yeah. Okay, just uh, Nitya, go to the next slide. Uh, the answer. The answer is Philip Island centipede. So again, a minus five to Pangala Kalea Kaleda.
Okay, now Tej, could you? The four questions are over. Now the last the tiebreaker before going to the tiebreaker, could Tej just tell the uh, scores of the both teams? Uh, so uh, currently, Science rookies are at uh, plus five, while uh, the other team is at minus ten. Okay. Um. So we have. Been, anyway, we'll go to the last question also. So let's see. Uh, the last question is also a bio question. The tiebreaker. Yeah. This condition can happen in people with both dry skin and skin with high high oil content. This condition also can be caused by some certain bacterial infection or fungal infection and cause itching of scalp and flaking of skin. Medical drugs used to treat this condition will usually have an active compound X, naturally extracted fun from fungus Y. This compound contains element Z. The name of Z is proposed to have come from German word for prong or teeth. X is a coordination complex of Z. Z. The species name of Y translates to a color. Name X, Y, Z. You have one minute and you should answer the whole, the three X, Y, and Z. And you'll have one minute. Your time starts now. You need to answer a whole three, and if you could answer whole three, I'll give a bonus of five points. So you'll get a bonus of fifteen points if you answer the three. Okay, thirty seconds done. Ten seconds remaining. Okay, time is up. So, do anyone want? I guess we can go for uh, audience. And you can yes before yeah. the answer is declared. Yeah, I guess that's perfectly fine. Even if audience can participate over here. Z is Z. Y is Melis Melis is your part part and Z is Zinc. Uh, could you go slow? If if it's ketoconazole, why uh -huh. melatonin is for for and Z is zinc? Z is zinc, but X and Y is not correct. Okay, I haven't answered so. No, no. Uh, now uh, we'll go to the which team. Uh, so Tejas, could you tell which team would be qualified? Uh, I guess let's like discuss this. Meanwhile, uh, other teams yeah. like, get okay. other rooms get uh, done with their rounds. So. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, the answer is zinc pyrethion, and the uh, why is aspergillus flavus? Flavus is actually a Latin term for yellow, and uh, because it's the spore of aspergillus is actually yellowish in color, and zinc is this is an active component. Most of the the condition was dandruff, and you can uh, zinc pyrethion is a complex compound of zinc, and zinc is is actually uh, it's came from a German word zinke, which means prong or tooth. So yeah, so we'll wait for the other teams to come and we'll announce the result. So meanwhile, for this room, uh, science rookies would be playing uh, Jeopardy with us, and uh, even from the room three, uh, the scores are updated. So from room three, sand sand soil will be joining. Okay. And uh, we are waiting for room one and room two. Yeah. Okay. Then after after they also join, we'll answer it. Uh, we'll announce it together. So meanwhile, Aditya, you can give out uh, a rough idea of what uh, Jeopardy is, how it 
it's done okay yeah. it would be great nitya do you have that uh, doc container the jeopardy rules Uh, not in this. It's not in this slide. It's in a. Uh, it's I, I. It's in an email I forward to you. So could you just present that? No, I put it into the. Just a second. I'm really yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Huh, okay. This is basically this. So the teams have already approach uh, return here. I'll just tell the rules. So in Jeopardy. in same you will have four topics physics chemistry mathematics and bio and from each topic there will be four each topic has four questions uh, in total and each question let's say question 1 will have 100 points question 2 will have 200 question 3 will have 300 and question 4 will have 400 and your task is to choose one of the questions uh, based on the based on the points that you require and uh, i hope is that much clear this could you just continue it i think i might fumble in this thing because i am not familiar with jeopardy sure sure no problem yeah. uh so basically jeopardy uh, you will have a jeopardy board in front of you uh, i'll be sharing the screen and the jeopardy board will have four different topics uh, physics chemistry bio maths as other dimension and uh, each team would be given a chance to pick uh, one of the topic as well as one of the point that they want to go with uh and other thing is uh, other teams would be uh, given pounds uh, or yeah the pounds and other thing uh, the important thing is uh, you must answer it in a question format so as an example is given so the first president of uh, independent india the answer shouldn't be dr uh, rajendra prasad it should it should be who is uh, dr rajendra prasad and uh on this successful uh, like on answering in this format uh, only you will be awarded with the uh, given scores uh, that would be on the question palette that is 100 200 300 and 400 and i guess nitya would be hosting the jeopardy session so yes nitya yeah. would be hosting it yeah so uh, okay you can go ahead Yeah, I no. I just want not anyone has any doubts. Can I have a few questions? Yeah, continue. Uh, so we will have four topics, and each topic has four prompts, right? No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Each topic has four prompts, and you have to pick one of them. Okay. So we will be graded according to the number of the the point prompt we have chosen. That's it, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's say team one chooses a certain question, certain topic, and a prompt. And they are on. They are hit the buzzer. So we have to type it out or speak it out aloud. You hit the buzzer, and once you hit the buzzer, we give you the permission to speak it out loud. Okay. And if they answer it incorrectly, what will happen? Uh, if they answer incorrectly, we go in uh, the order that uh, I mean. Um, if if they answer incorrectly, we we show the answer, and then the the next team that will be. Uh, uh it, it would be in the order like set 1 set 2 set 3 so the next team in that in the in the next set they I get guess, the uh, he wants to confirm if there is a negative marking or not so i'm not wrong oh. no no yeah. what i need to i want to ask is like if i answer incorrectly and i get a negative can i answer it again in the next point for the next question yeah but not not for the same question you can answer okay. the next question not the same question Okay, so all the teams get a chance to answer the same question by the buzzer, right? Um, yes. So if they choose the topic, if the first team chooses the topic, and anyone can hit the buzzer, right? Yeah, anyone can hit the buzzer. Yeah. So if they get it correct, the answer is the question is over. And if they don't get it, the other teams can answer, right? Yeah. Yeah. And no, wait, the no. If they don't get the, the don't get the right answer, only the team that has buzzed will be allowed to not buzzed. Only the team that has pick the topic will be allowed to answer it okay and if the team that has picked the topic buzzes first and gets it wrong what will happen if they get it wrong we will move to the next team in sequential order okay i see and so that so the, the we will the, the prompt is fixed right so like if we pick the 400 point prompt it will remain at that we will not go down 300 200 or anything like that 
No, no. There, uh, if like a, a question has that many points, no, it does not change. Okay, thank We've you. We've not included daily double for this quiz. So. Hello, I have a doubt. Could you go over how we buzzed in again? Uh, the same way you buzzed in the previous rounds, you just have to put in put in a full stop in the chat. Full stop in the chat. Okay. Yeah. They just we have marked the finalists in that uh, sheet with the yellow color. So if every team has returned, we can I think we can announce it. Okay, fine. Uh, so from room one, we have Halwa Merchants. From room two, we have uh, Delta and Omicron. And from room three, we have Sands and Soil. Uh, while from the room four, we have uh, Science Rupees. These four teams would be playing Jeopardy with us. Every team has returned, right? Uh, okay, I'll just take the attendance once again. Uh, Halwa Merchants. We're here. Okay. Uh, science rookies. Yeah, we are here. Science rookies. Uh, Pawangalai Kaliya Kaliya Da. Okay, I think they left. Uh, sand and soil. We are here. We are here. Okay. Uh, and uh, Delta and Omicron. Yeah, we are here. Okay, so the ano. Okay, so you guys are. Uh, on to the final round, the Jeopardy round. I hope you are all clear with the rules. Now, Nitya will host the Jeopardy round. So, all the best to all the teams. Uh, so, yeah, welcome to the Jeopardy round. Um, we, we will start off, I mean, the order that we will be going in is first, Halva Merchants, second, Delta Anomicron, third sand and soil, and fourth science rookies. And so we would like to ask uh, Team Halva Merchants, which topic would you like to choose and how many points? Physics 400. Physics 400, okay. Named after the Dutch astron named after a Dutch astronomer, the law was accurately described by Ibn Sal at Baghdad court in, in 984 uh, AD. Ptolemy came close to discovering it, but didn't take the step. René Descartes, Pierre de Fermat, and uh, both arrived at this law independently. Yeah, uh, Delta and Omicron, and um, Delta, you can answer, and please remember, in the Jeopardy format, you have, it, you have to answer it as a question, like what is the answer? What is the fundamental principle of analytical geometry? Uh, unfortunately, that's not the right answer. And so would uh, Halva Merchants, you get a stab at this? Uh, can I? Uh, hello. I think, yeah, hello. Oh, can I? Uh, yeah. uh, the law of refraction. Uh, that is the correct answer. Uh, the answer is Snell's law. Uh, yeah, Nitya, I, I want you to reconsider because uh, they didn't answer it in a question form. The, in, the, in the question form. Okay, this is your first warning. Uh, you have to answer it in the question form. If you don't answer it in the question form, we will give you a penalty. So please okay. answer uh, in the question sorry. form from this. Sorry, we should do that. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Who is taking care of the points? Uh, so 400 points to uh, team uh, Halva Merchants. <clears throat> Me 
Indian non fatigue kind of points. Okay, okay. Okay. So now since uh, team Halwa merchants, as you answered the as you answered the previous question correctly, we give you another stab at it. Which uh, which subject would you like to choose and how many points? Chemistry 400. Okay. Chemistry 400 for Halwa merchants. Because it had an unusual unusual ethnobridge and was therefore a variation from the standard types of structures found in the field of hydrocarbon cage rearrangements. It came to be known as the unwanted child. Okay, science rookies has buzzed. Uh, science rookies, would you like to? Answer? What is the nickname of the compound bastardine? That is the correct answer. Bastardine is the right answer. Uh, Four hundred points to science rookies. And as you answered the previous question correctly. Um, we will let you choose the next uh, the next question. So, what is the subject that you like, and and how many points? Science rookies get to choose, right? Yes. Chemistry three hundred. Chemistry three hundred. Used as a source of illumination in gun sights, tools, and watches. Occasionally produced by irradiating boron. Sometimes used as a sometimes used as a radio label. Uh, halva merchants, team halva merchants. We are going to go with tritium. What is tritium? Yeah, you. I did warn you before. I have to give you a, a negative one hundred and fifty. I'm sorry about that. Uh, minus one hundred and fifty to halva merchants, but it's the right answer. So, minus one hundred and fifty. So. The next team in line is Delta and Omicron. Delta and Omicron, can you? Excuse uh, me. Yes. But since they answered it incorrectly, shouldn't we get a chance at it? Um, no, they answered it correctly. That's the. They answered it correctly, but they okay, I get didn't okay, I get answer in the right format. Uh, hello, Delta and Omicron here. We would like uh, to go with Biology 300. All right, Biology 300 for Delta and Omicron. Uh, the mutation that substitutes one body part for another during development. Halva Merchants has buzzed. Team Halva Merchants. Uh, this is what is substitution? Mm -hmm. That is not the right answer. Uh, would uh, Team Delta and Omicron like to answer? Yeah, with Delta and Omicron, we don't know the answer. All right. Since no one knows the answer, wait, before we go, would I'd like to open this up to the audience. Would Does anyone in the audience, audience know the answer? No one? All right, we can go to the right answer. The answer is a homeotic mutation. And Satya, could you please update the scores? Uh, the scores? Uh, okay. That would be uh, minus minus 150 for uh, Halva Merchants. Um, and Delta and Omicron? Nothing for Delta. Okay. Thank you. 
Um, so the next question is, I mean, sand and soil, would you like to pick your question? Uh, we'd like to go math for 300. All right, math for 300. Architect Vincent Calibo has designed an impressive new building, Swallow's Nest, for Taiwan's Taichung Gateway Park, inspired from this surface, whose discovery is attributed independently to two German mathematicians. Sand and soil has buzzed. Can you answer? What is the Mobius rate? That is the right answer. So that would be plus 300 for sand and soil. And since you answered uh, this question correctly, you get to uh, pick the next topic. Uh, we'd like to go math for 200. Okay, math for 200. Yeah, McDonald's offers chicken nuggets only in packs of three or five. Assuming one can order any number of nuggets one wants to, this is the highest number of nuggets one cannot order. Okay, delta and a micron has passed. Uh, can you answer? Yeah, 43 is the, what is 43? Mm. That is not the right answer. Uh, we give it to sand and soil. Sand and soil. Oh, we don't know the answer. Sir. Okay, so that would be a minus minus hundred for delta and a micron, and we go to the right answer. Can we still answer? You can guess. Sure. Um, is it seven? Yeah, seven is the right answer. Uh, but you don't get the oh, okay. You don't because you already refused to answer. So yeah, seven is the right answer. And now we go in the next team is science rookies. Science rookies, can you pick your subject and points? Chemistry two hundred. Okay, chemistry two hundred for science rookies. The blue protein, uncommon in nature, whose color comes from the amino acid arrangement, where proteins bind to zinc, which creates a structure that is somewhat similar to known blue dyes like endophenol. Okay, Halva Merchants has buzzed. Can you answer? What is Ranas Marcin? That is the right answer. So that will be plus 200 to Halva Merchants. And Halva Merchants, as you've answered correctly, uh, you get to pick the next. Um, physics 300. Okay, physics 300 for Halva Merchants. In quantum mechanics and computing, it is a geometrical representation of the pure state space. Halva Merchants has passed. Can you answer? What is the block sphere? That is the correct answer. Uh, the answer is the block sphere. So 300 points to Halva Merchants. And you get to pick another time. Physics 200. Physics 200. Written on his tombstone. Okay, sand and soil has buzzed already. Sand and soil. Who is Werner Heisenberg? That is the correct answer. Uh, this is actually written on Werner Heisenberg's tombstone. So sand and soil, uh, 200 points to sand and soil and uh, you get to pick your subject. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, sorry, but uh, I don't think the right question to this answer would be who is Werner Heisenberg, right? It would be the right answer. Uh, the, the question is, if someone asks you who is Werner Heisenberg, you would not say written on his tombstone. 
he lies here somewhere. The, the, the answer is about who it is, right? So we say who is Werner Heisenberg because it's referring to the person. Because you can't say what is oh. Werner Heisenberg. Okay, sure. I, I'm not sure that is how the language is, but it's fine. Thank you very much. All right, uh, Sandin Soy, can you pick your subject? Math for 400, please. Okay, math for 400 from Sandin Soy. The maximum number of people who can share a pizza, which can be cut exactly seven times. Halva Machin says bust. Halva Machin. Uh, how many cuts are uh, how, uh, how many uh, can seven cuts make pizza for 29 people? So, okay, you can just say what is or, you know, you don't have to make it grammatically accurate. Uh, okay. but, yeah, I think you get the thing I'm yes. trying to say. Your answer is 29. Yeah. Yeah, that is the correct answer. So that would be plus 400 to uh, Halva Merchants. Uh, so Halva Merchants, you get to pick another, uh, another subject. Biology 400. Okay. 400 for Halva Merchants in biology. The genome characteristic of a species that has many blocks of collinear duplicated genes arranged throughout the chromosomes, and all the duplication events happened at the same time. Okay, Team Halva Merchants. What is gene collinearity? Uh, that is not the right answer. Uh, the, the, the answer is paleopolyploid. Um, uh, can we please ask for the scores? Uh, the current scores. Uh, can yes. ask yeah, sure. you? Yeah, so team Halva Merchants are on 600 points, team Delta and Omicron on negative 300 points, Sun and Soil on 500 points, and team Science Rookies 400 points. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, uh, Delta and Omicron. Which subject would you like to pick? Uh, excuse me, how did it come back to us? Um, okay, so uh, science rookies was the last, uh, the, the, you know, when the last time this happened, we, we asked science rookies. Okay, then uh, never mind. We'll go with biology 200. Biology 200 for, for Delta and Omicron. In vivo, experimentation using a whole live organism. In vitro, experimentation with glass or with partially, or, okay, sand and soil has, uh, has buzzed. Would you like to answer? Sand and soil? In silico. In silico. In silico is the right answer. So that is 200 points to sand and soil. Uh, if you didn't tell it as a question. Uh, what is in silico? What is oh, in silico? Yes. Did not get the points. 
that's true uh, i'm sorry about that so minus 100 for sandin sir yeah wait uh, I, um, I i'm sorry but another team got a warning also get the points for this hello yeah um, i'm sorry i heard two people at the same time i i couldn't understand okay uh, see uh, i'm from delta and omicron uh, and uh, after he said in silico i i burst in before uh, he answered and i also said uh, in silico but i asked what is in silico so do i get the points for that because uh, i answered before you revealed and i answered after uh, i i also burst in yeah okay but the thing is he already revealed the right answer so it's a uh... yeah but he didn't answer correctly he just said in silico he didn't answer yeah and that's why but he's already revealed the right answer and so i um, can't but... Yeah, but the other team also got a warning, so it's only fair. Yeah, I mean, the warning was for everyone. It was, I mean, you, you don't, I mean, there, there's only 16 questions to give warning for each team, then that'd be four questions. And so. Yeah, but still, I mean, he did not technically answer correctly, did he? He just said, yes. he could have said anything else. And uh, I, I didn't burst in after he said in silico. I burst in before he said in silico. Yeah, but the thing is, he said in silico, so we can't. Yeah, but there was the question is dead. Go to Mark and say that it's the right answer. I, if I would have answered in silico, what is in silico after you revealed what is in silico, then you could have said okay, it was after the answer was revealed, but you uh, haven't given any. No, you might have buzzed. Guys, 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 guys. I think but... Quizmaster's verdict should be final, so it's up to Nitya whether to give or not give. Arguing yeah, I'm like that I, it's, I burst in yeah. before he answered. Yeah, I understand, but I have no idea what was in your head when at the time you burst in. Um, so I just I cannot give you okay, the, the question. Yeah. Also, fair since he has answered in an incorrect format, the question is dead. Atya, would you give negative hundred or negative hundred for sand and soil and zero for um, delta and omicron? So the next question goes to science rookies. Chemistry hundred. Chemistry hundred for science rookies. A mixture of sulfuric acid and okay, science rookies has buzzed already. What is Pirana solution? Yeah, that is the right answer. The answer is Pirana solution. So hundred points to science rookies. Uh, science rookies, can you pick another? I like hundred. Okay, biology hundred. Science rookies. The first commercially available marine derived anti cancer drug. Okay, halwa merchant. Uh, what is what is seta rabin? That is the right answer. Cytinebrin or RRC is the right answer. Uh, so hundred points to halwa merchants. Halwa merchants, you get to pick the next. Um, uh, physics hundred. Okay, physics hundred for halwa merchants. It is a transparent optical device, which is said to have references in ancient Egyptian and Roman texts. Its name is derived from the Latin term for the seeds of an edible food crop. Halva merchants. What is a lens? That is the right answer. Uh, 100 points to halva merchants. Uh, so the last question, 100 points in mathematics goes to halva merchants. Uh, this is the maximum amount of distance a scooter can travel if it runs on two wheels at okay science rookies has buzzed in science rookies 15 kilometers what is 15 kilometers uh, that is not the right answer uh, uh, sorry just add I think we should get a chance right yeah uh, uh, can, please, get a chance can, can you please show the question first because you did not complete reading the question 
Yeah, this is the maximum amount of distance a scooter can travel if it runs on two wheels at any given time and has one reserve wheel. And all three wheels can run for at most five kilometers before becoming unusable. So minus fifty for uh, I think science rookies. Oh, uh, what is seven point five kilometers? Yeah, seven point five kilometers is the right answer. Can I answer something? Yes. Can you please go up to the question? Yeah. Uh, so first, if the my scooter is running on two wheels and it has one reserve wheel, right? Okay. The two point five kilometers in, we change the scooter wheel. Okay, okay, okay. So it runs for around uh, for two point after five two point five kilometers, we change one scooter wheel. So it runs for around another two point five kilometers. That's five. Okay, I get it. Thank you so much. I get it. Yeah, it's wrong. Yeah, so that's hundred points to Halwa merchants. The answer is seven point five kilometers. So Asma, can we have the scores? Halwa merchants buzz in though. Yeah, they. I mean, they didn't buzz I mean, in, but then it's their buzz. question. Yeah, science rookies buzzed in and yeah. they answered incorrectly. Yeah, but uh, it was our direct question. Halwa merchants answered. Yeah, the question was to them. So. Oh, um, okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, Asma, can you have the scores? So, team Halwa Merchants are leading with one thousand one hundred points. Team Delta, team Delta, and Mike, negative three hundred points. Team San and Soil with four hundred points, and Team Science Rookies with fifty points. So, the second runner up would be Team San and Soil. The first runner up would be. Team Science Rookies, and the winner of the quiz will be Team Halwa Merchants. Congratulations to all the winners! Thank you very much. Are we good? Shemushi? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we are done with the quiz. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Congratulations to the winners. That's wonderful. A very good event. Now, uh, Shemushi, I would like you to um, send us a list of the winners with their names so that that can be announced in the afternoon session, please. If you can do that. Sure, ma'am. Email you. Yeah. Yes, please. Sorry, thank we couldn't you. hear. You did you say anything? I'm sorry. What? Uh, no, no. It was an uh, like information for us, Shemushi, okay. Okay. not for the people. Okay. Uh, so you have no more uh, events, right? You, you guys are done. So we can close the session. Yes, okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Then uh, I would like to say thank you to especially all the participants uh, who came all of, from all over the country uh, to be part of our Science Day celebrations. Thanks, Shimushi, for conducting a wonderful uh, session today, and uh, thanks, Professor Sonti, for opening uh, the session, and to all the audience who've been with us. And we request all of you to join us for the afternoon session that starts at 2 p.m. That's in a hybrid mode. We have limited seating in CV Raman, first come, first serve. The rest of you can join on Zoom. It's the same link. So we welcome you once again. We have a special guest with us, uh, Professor G.D. Yadav. And then we have a documentary that's going to be played. We have our iGEM team, our winning iGEM team giving a presentation. So it will be a wonderful session. And I request all of you to join us in the afternoon. With that, we'll close the second part of our National Science Day celebrations as part of Azadika Amrit Mahotsav. Thank you and hoping to see all of you in the afternoon. Bye.